Okay, Grace, so we're going to commence donning your PPE now. Can you perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand job, please? Can you now put on your blue thumbs-up gown, arms in first, over your head, and then tie at the back? Make sure your thumbs are in the hooks. You're going to don your mask now, your N95. One strap at the top of the crown of your head, one down on your neck. Perform a fit check, nice and tight around the bridge of your nose. Yep, you're now going to don your goggles. Hand hygiene. And lastly, you're now going to don your gloves. Making sure your gloves are nice and high over the um, thumbs of the gown. And one last check of your PPE and you're ready to go. So this is the PPE for the airway operator, airway assistant and medical team leader. Dave is wearing a surgical impervious gown. He's wearing double gloves, so one pair of high cuff gloves and another pair of regular gloves. He's wearing a hairnet and a face shield. All right, guys, thanks very much for coming uh, to um, intubate this guy um, who's query COVID-19. Uh, we're going to go through the COVID-19 emergency intubation checklist now. Uh, the first section is team. So anaesthesia contacted if difficulty anticipated. Well, we've asked Dave to come from anaesthesia. Thanks, Dave. Um, and he's brought Rachel with him, who's one of the anaesthetic nurses. My name's John. I'm the intensive care specialist. And this is Grace. He's an intensive care nurse who's been looking after the patient today. Um, who's going to act as our door runner today. Um, outside room runner, we've got Ollie over there who's going to help us out with that. Problems anticipated today, well, he's pretty hypoxic. He's on six litres of oxygen, tachypnic with sats of 90. So um, the main problem will be hypoxia, and obviously we've got to be thinking at all times about contamination with COVID-19. Patient now, uh, ECG is in place, blood pressure invasive and non-invasive, SATS probe. He's being pre-oxygenated in a 45 degree head up position at the moment with just his six litres on via Hudson mask. He's got two IV access, there's a litre of uh, Harman's in there on a pump set. We don't think he needs any fluid resuscitation at the moment. He's on a little bit of noradrenaline already but we've also got some aramine. Drugs now, RSI drugs drawn up and I've chosen to use some fentanyl, some propofol and some rocuronium. I'm using 1.5 milligrams per kilogram of rocuronium today. We've got some aramine in there that I can see, some metaraminol. Um, post intubation sedation, we're going to use fentanyl and propofol infusions. He's got no drug allergies. So equipment wise, we've got two laryngoscopes, we've got the CMAC with a size 4 blade and we've also got a MAC blade, a MAC laryngoscope here which has been tested and the battery's good. Uh, tubes wise we've got a size 8 which we've tested the cuff of, it's also got a, a size 6 there just in case we find a very narrow um, glottis or if we need to do front of neck access that's what that's for. Um, bougie I can see here we've also got a stylet for you Dave if you need it, um, a 10 mil syringe, a tube tie, there's some lubricant there, uh, Superglottic airway device size to the patient. We've got an eye gel size 4 which is appropriate for him. Um, there's a scalpel in there, there's a bougie size 6 tube in case we need to do front of neck access. Our airway trolley is over there with extra kit should we need it. Uh, the bronchoscope is here, the Ambu single use bronchoscope um, and the cardiac arrest trolley is over there I can see. We've got an end tidal cuvette and the lead is in the room Gracie. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and we've got a viral filter, very important piece of kit, which we're going to have in the circuit at all times. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm just calibrating the CO2 now. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, Dave, I'm going to turn the oxygen off here. So, are you ready with the uh, self inflating bag? Yep, ready. Okay, okay so I'm turning the oxygen off here. Okay. You can remove the oxygen mask. The mask is tubing across the you, Rachel, put it in the bin for me. 
Okay guys, now I think we're ready. Um, we're going to do the second part of the COVID-19 emergency intubation checklist, the in-room section, yeah. while we pre-oxygenate the patient. So, um, patient position optimal? Yes, patient is at 45 degrees and optimal. Okay, good. And obviously we'll lie down a little bit for you for intubation, Dave. Fluids run easily? Yes. Yeah, I can see that's running easily. Suction working? Yeah, we've checked it before. Good. Face mask with viral filter connected? Yes. Yes. End side of CO2 trace? <coughs> yes. O2 running at 15 litres per minute? Yes. Good. Oropharyngeal airway there? Yes. Good. All right. So the airway plans, Dave, I'm just going to go through with you again. Yeah. Plan A is video laryngoscopy, standing up tall, using the screen. Yeah. We're going to use a bougie first look. Plan B is a superglottic airway device. We've got an eye gel size 4, which is appropriate size for the patient. Yep. Plan C is two person, two handed face mask ventilation. Mm -hmm. You're using a vice grip, Dave. Yep. And uh, a Bidel airway should probably go at that stage. Yep. But when we reapply the mask, and Rachel, you'll be gently squeezing the bag. Mm -hmm. And plan D will be a scalpel bougie tube technique. And I will perform that if it comes to that. Any questions? No. Very good. Okay, Jeremy, we're going to be drifting you off to sleep now, mate, okay? You're taking a big, big breath first. The 200 mic suspension are going in. Big breath. Now I'm going to give some protocol and then 150 milligrams of rock. Yeah. Okay, so I'm giving 150 milligrams of rock you're only now. Okay. That's going at 30 seconds past the minute. Yep. Now Rachel, this guy's pretty hypoxic, so I'd like you to gently mask bad ventilating, please. Yep. That's good. Right, you see chest rise. We've got a square wave. CO2 trace. I can't hear any leak. That's a really good vice grip, Dave. Okay, the sats are holding. They're not great, but they're holding. Okay, so that's a minute yep. since the rock went in. Yep. So let's put the resuscitator back down on the bed now. Take it from in there, place it over there. One minute. Just about coming off, tubing on, 
Check all your connections, please. Here we go, vent on, please. Okay, we've got volumes coming up on the ventilator. We've got chest rise and fall, and we've got a square rate inside the CO2 trace. So that's a holding. Yep. Got good volumes. Good work. Okay, now we can secure the tube. Okay, Rachel, um, because this guy's on a humidified circuit, we need to remove that viral filter, and at the same time, we're going to put in an inline suction catheter. So, to do that, we're going to put the ventilator on standby. So, we've been on 100% oxygen for the last few minutes. Yeah. So, when you're ready, vent on standby, filter out, inline in. So, the vent's on standby now. Vent on standby, filter out, straight into the bin. Suction on, CO2 on. Great, check all your connections before you restart. Yep. Very good, restart ventilation. Yep. Okay, we've got chest rise, we've got end tidal CO2, we've got good yep. volumes on the vent. Yep. Alright, thanks everyone. Okay, perform hand hygiene and wait 20 seconds. Next you're going to take off your gown. So ripping from the back first, then the neck, leaning forward and letting it roll up your shoulders. Next you're going to do hand hygiene again. Okay, hand up's going to come off, so leaning towards, crown down into the bin. Perform hand hygiene. Okay, face shield next, so leaning over the bin and straight into the bin. Okay, you're now ready to exit the room. Okay, now we're outside the room, I want you to do hand hygiene again. Now it's safe to remove your mask. And hand hygiene again.